Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. Today is Wednesday, October 11th and we're vlogging again with the kids. I know it has been a while, so give me some time throughout this vlog. I will be explaining kind of where things took a turn and where I've been. But right now it is 7.30 in the morning. Um, the kids already had breakfast. I had my cup of coffee. And we're just kind of hanging out. So I will check in with you guys shortly. Kind of give you guys a life update and pick up where we left off. Yep, Ayla and Daya. These are their Halloween pajamas for this year. We got Daya, Ayla, and we got the babies over there. Um, every year, every year I do a little Halloween basket for the kids. Usually incorporates pajamas. Hi, Mama. Wow. Pajamas, books, and like candy and a couple of little toys. And they got they usually get them on the first of October. These are the pajamas they will be wearing the night before Halloween. But they wanted to wear them today. Hi, little mama girl. Uh, Ada. You can't hold it. It's too heavy. I can't. I have to look at the commercial. Alright, I'm gonna start off with um, a baby update. So as you guys know, or you should know that I am pregnant. Today actually I am um, 36 weeks pregnant. So, don't mind my attire. Right? I'm in pajamas. Um, 36 weeks pregnant. I actually am officially nine months. Um, I f I'm pretty sure in a previous video I talked about my previa, my placenta previa, and having to deliver early. So, baby will actually be here next week. Um, so I have been doing a lot of nesting. So, in this corner, in this corner of my room is the baby's area where I have like the baby's socks, little booties, um, necessities. I have towels and swaddles here, wipes, and then um, those are more wipes. And we have a bunch of diapers um, in the garage. Shout out to Pedro's company. Pedro, Pedro's um, job threw him like a little shower. And that's where we got diapers because we have no newborn or one size diapers. Um, we did have our little baby shower last week, our baby sprinkle, um, but we only got like two packs of diapers. So thank God Pedro had, or they threw him a little shower because we kind of would have been like needing to buy diapers right now. But thankfully we have some to get started. Bless you. I have the baby's bassinet ready to go. Everything is washed. Um, this is like a little play mat or like a tummy time mat. And then the the boppy. And here I have little shorts and onesies. And then down there is a bunch of burp cloths. <clears throat> so I've been spending this week kind of just honestly prepping and nesting for the baby. I have like a little checklist of things I'm trying to get done by the end of this week. Um, which I'm actually doing pretty good. I think today I'm gonna get a lot of it done. I can do a bike. Hey, careful, Daya. Um, I do have to still wash the clothes, so I took all the clothes down, took the tags off, and they are in here. I'm washing the car seat, the diaper bag, and these clothes so that I can hang them back up and prep the diaper bag. So. All that's gonna get done today, so I can show you guys. All right, my next update aside from the baby is kind of just things that we kind of revamped in the house. And so I'm just gonna kind of walk you quickly through. Here are our new couches. We got a new couch set a few weeks ago. I'm coming back, I told you I was coming back. We also 
turned our kids' playroom, this used to be our playroom, into officially my mom's room. Um, we kind of have the kids' dresser still in here. We have an extra chair, the rocking chair, a crib for the baby, my mom's bed, and this is an extra um, crib that we actually need to put in the garage. And we were able to do that because the kids got bunk beds. So there's Jedi's bed as a twin, Ada's bed as a full. Why, why and don't I get up here? Why me get up my Watch bed? you get up your bed? Yeah. yeah. They both love climbing up their bed. Yeah, you're a big boy, that's why, huh? And what we did was we kind of simultaneously turned their bedroom Ada. into get a playroom as well. So their toys. Their books, their bed is all in the same room, which is totally fine because the spacing that we have, we just, we have a three bedroom. And so with my mom being here majority of the time, we felt, I felt it was right to make that just like her room and to remove the kids' toys from there because the kids would play in there and make a mess. And so now they can make a mess in their room, they play in the room, um, and then those are... Those are the house updates. Right now, the kids are playing in the room. Jedi was building blocks, and Ayla was playing with this buckle. I went to go grab my phone in case somebody called. Um, but they stopped playing in that time frame. But you're still playing? Yeah. Alright, the car seat is clean and assembled, Mama. ready for Mama. the baby. Mama. Yes, Ayla. All done? Thanks. Alright, next I have the diaper bag. I have washed it. It is now clean. I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the things that I just keep in here, like hand sanitizer, baby lotion, ointment, bags, band-aids. These are things that I keep in here. Um, already and then once their baby's clothes are done being washed I can add the baby's burp cloths and um, swaddles outfits and things like that for the hospital so we're just getting things together hey look careful you're gonna drop that on yourself we're just getting things together for the baby so car seats done working on the diaper bag the clothes are finishing drying and uh, that's about it for today. Yes, I know. Yeah. Hi. All right. All the dirty clothes are now washed and hung up and ready for baby. I'm going to be packing. I'm waiting for two more things to dry so I can pack the diaper bag. And that's going to be everything. Um, just a reminder, we do not know the gender, which is why I have all these neutral clothes pulled out. Um, some things are from, like, Jedediah when he was younger, when Ayla was younger. Uh, we got some new pieces and pajamas. Um, this was Ayla's. This is new. So, like, we have a mixture of hand-me-downs from Big Brother, Big Sister, and then some new clothes. Um, we did keep it. I, I pulled out as many clothes as I can for not knowing the gender. But once we get home and I start recovering, I can go and pull some more clothes out, depending on if we're having a boy or girl. Um... But that's pretty much it. I think the last thing I'm going to do in this vlog is going to be pack the diaper bag. Um, and maybe in another video I will pack my bag because I actually don't know what I'm packing just yet. So um, 
right now the baby's things are good to go all I need to do is also I need to pull some diapers out of the garage because that's where we have the packs of diapers that we received and so I need to pull those out and just have them I'm just gonna stack some right here but it feels good to kind of be able to get some things done especially like with having two already like it's kind of it seems impossible to even do anything but it's doable you just gotta break it into chunks so got something else off my chest. okay so i'm gonna quickly go over everything i'm packing so so far i'm packing three outfits two pajamas and a swaddle and then I have the beanie and bow for their announcement photos I have a changing changing pad some burp cloths and a blanket and I think I said a swaddle and I have some wipes and I'm just gonna throw in some diapers um, I know the hospital provides wipes and diapers but just for our comfort we like to bring things that we already use I'm also packing some two pairs of socks for the baby and that's it oh and I have a burp cloth that's everything that's everything I'm gonna fold up and put in the diaper bag and the only thing that I'm adding in there last is going to be I might throw in a pacifier not sure and I also might not take one and then I'm also gonna throw in the announcement clothes that are still drying so that's all just to add, everything I'm packing as far as clothing is newborn size. Um, when I had Jedediah and Ayla, I packed like some newborns and zero to threes and then like three months just to be like figure out what size they were going to be. But I'm having my child 37 weeks, so there's no way this baby would be smaller than either of them. I mean, bigger than either of them. Um, Jedediah was nine pounds and he was even a newborn when he was born, so... I'm packing only newborn.